our prayer today for Blake and for Rachel is that they would cling to you, that their relationship would be a gospel-centered relationship, that they would demonstrate to the world the love that you have shown them. We pray, Lord, for those of us that are standing here as witnesses to this covenant, that you would enable us to take this seriously. This is more than an exercise in sentimentality. It's more than just an event. But it's an opportunity for us to say, we believe that God has brought this couple together and we're going to do our part to pray for them, to hold them accountable and to help them to stay together so that you might be greatly honored through their lives. Your glory is so beautiful. I fall onto my knees in awe. And the heartbeat of my life is to worship in your light. Cause your glory is so beautiful. Cause your glory is so beautiful. Rachel Susan White. You are the most beautiful person I have ever met. I can't help but smile and laugh every time I see you because it shocks me that I am marrying such an incredible woman of God. <clears throat> your beauty radiates through your personality and character. You are full of creativity and excitement. You're a defender to those who are weak and you love to serve other people. You find your confidence in Christ and that is put on display for all to see. I love you, Rachel. I vow to chase you, seek you out, call you, lavish you with love, and give myself up for you just as Jesus does for his bride, the church. I vow to apologize first and lead lovingly, knowing you are a gift from God. I vow to learn more about you and experience some of our greatest victories and joys, as well as pains as a couple. I vow to lead spiritually and not hinder your growth by being passive, but to stand for truth and be the first to admit when I have failed. I vow to be there for you when you are in need and to make you the main priority in my life of ministry. I vow that as long as my body has breath, I will quit myself to loving no other woman than you. I love you, Rachel. Blake Emery. I knew after our very first date that my life would never be the same. For so long, I had locked up my heart, keeping it safe from vulnerability and heartbreak. It was God that brought you into my life, and in this, he taught me more of his love, more of his sacrifice, and more of Jesus. By his grace and strength alone, I vow to love you the way that he loves us. I promise to humbly lay my life down for you, to be slow to anger and quick to forgive. I vow to submit to you and to trust your decisions for us. I promise to faithfully support you, pray for you, challenge you, and champion you as you live out your life for God. I vow to stand next to you always, to be your loyalist until the day that I die. Before God and this church, I choose you, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death parts us. Yeah.
Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Here, this is a trust that's uh, vertical. First and foremost between you and God. Trust in God, not only as individuals, but as godly, a godly couple, seeking to be guided by the Lord in all areas of your life, in the big things and in the small things, in the little things. Together as one for the rest of your life. Yeah.